Hey Cancer, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and these are your deep thoughts for the next six weeks. The last couple weeks of May on into the full month of June. So these are your deep thoughts, right? This is a general reading for the sign of Cancer. If you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may, not, may resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's just not your turn, right? Just not your energy. Nevertheless, if you need any kind of clarity, confirmation, information, foresight, or understanding, and you subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your situation for 50 bucks. There's a link in the box below where you can schedule a special YouTube reading with me. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, you can go to deepthoughtswithdana.com and, re and pay the regular full price of $100 for a reading. My YouTube subscribers get 50% off because I am loyal as hell to my YouTube subscribers. Right on. All right, so here we go, Cancer. This is kind of straightforward and uh, no mixing, no mixing words here. Something, something happened, and it's gonna be okay. <laughs> That's the gist. Spoiler alert. So you open this reading with the Five of Swords, right? This Five of Swords is about conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal, a win at all costs kind of attitude. Five of Pentacles says that um, that business is being left out in the cold. You ain't dealing with it no more. Either you were left out in the cold or you are leaving all of this conflict and this betrayal and this deception out in the cold. Knight of Wands comes in and says that you have some real passionate messages to give to somebody that you are in a unified <laughs> partnership with, right? Could be love, could be business, could be family. Either way. Hey! Shut up. Could be love. Sorry. Could be love. Could be business. Could be family. Either way, you have some very heated, passionate messages, right? And passionate messages don't have to be about love and sex. I can give some pretty passionate messages when I'm pissed off, right? And that's what you're doing right here. You are giving some pissed off messages to somebody that you are in some kind of unified relationship with. Clarified by the Five of Swords right there. That Five of Swords, again, right here. It's all about conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal. Okay? So you're delivering some very passionate messages to somebody that you are in some kind of unified relationship with. This, this, this confusion that this situation has caused right here, your only option is to exit. A regretful but necessary transition into a brand new beginning and a brand new journey all on your own. Three of Pentacles comes in and says there is a lack of teamwork and collaboration. The devil tells me that this is a highly toxic relationship. Highly toxic relationship. This is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal beliefs and your personal growth. Knight of Swords says that you are going to, or you have taken some action. You've taken some action and the Seven of Swords says you give up. You give up, not going to have it, not going to do it. I'm going out on my own as the fool Brand new beginning in a brand new journey. Leaving all this out in the cold, not going to have it in my life. Justice comes in and says, absolutely, abso-fucking-lutely, absolutely. This is your personal truth. This is you standing up for yourself and saying the buck stops here. I am not going to deal with toxic, negative, restrictive attachments in my life. I am out with the fool card. I am out with the six of swords. Done deal. Come down here to this bottom row. So you make this break, right? You make this break and you, 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 you make the right decision. You stick up for yourself and you leave this situation. You leave it. What that brings for you, Gemini, no, Cancer, I'm sorry, Cancer, what that brings for you, Cancer, is the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. To the Ten of Cups, holy cow, harmony, happiness, values alignment in your life, in your relationships. To the World card, a brand new chapter of your life is about to start. 
All of this bullshit has been completed. You've integrated everything that you've learned and you're about to turn it over and start a whole new chapter in your life. I want to point out nine and a 10, right? So it's an, it's escalation, escalation to your happiness, right? So this nine of cups right here is because of a personal truth, absolute mental clarity about what this bullshit is up here absolute mental clarity about who and what this devil energy means to your life. Princess of Swords comes in and says that you know that this devil is all talk and no action. You've probably been through this multiple times and this devil energy has probably come back multiple times and saying, baby, I'm sorry, baby, I won't do it again. My mouth, I can't control it. My drinking, I can't control it. My cheating, I can't control it. I'll try better. I'll do better. And uh, -uh cancer is saying, fuck that and fuck you. I don't want none of it and going out on your own, right? That's what that princess of swords is. This ace of swords is absolute mental clarity that none of this is ever going to change. To the nine of pentacles, a self-sufficient, independent person who is who has enough self-pride and enough self-value to know the devil when they see it. Three of Wands comes in and says that you are preparing. You are preparing to expand yourself, right? Because, because you're out on your own now, right? You're out on your own and you are going to be your own wishes fulfilled, your own Ten of Cups, fixing to write a whole new chapter in your life. Preparing to expand. And this expansion is just like a sigh of relief. That you don't have to deal with all of this anymore. That you don't have to deal with this devil anymore. It's just like, oh, God, thank you. Seven of Swords comes in and says, you are breaking, fr breaking free of the mental challenges of the deceit, the betrayal, the deception, and the shady behavior. You are leaving it all behind and you're not looking back. Princess of Wands comes in. Princess of Wands comes in and says, you are filled with a brand new sense of enthusiasm, exploration, discovery, and a free spirit. Once you unchain yourself from that devil energy, you are going to feel like the weight of the world has been lifted off of your shoulders. You are going to experience comfort, happiness, satisfaction, independence, self-sufficiency, harmony in your life. Write a new chapter in your own book. Four of Swords says, now you can breathe a sigh of relief. <sighs> sigh of relief. The weight of the world is not on your shoulder and all of this toxic bullshit is now flushed down the toilet and you are out on your own. A brand new beginning in a brand new journey. Rest, relaxation, and peace in your life by which you can now plan for your future and move ahead with the Princess of Cups being a messenger of a creative new beginning in your life, Cancer. A creative new beginning, right? Cut that devil energy loose. Cut it loose. All right, that was short and quick. So I'm going to go back to the top. I'm gonna take it from the top again. I'm gonna read it one more time. If this is where we part ways, namaste, my friends, and I will see you next time around. Hit me up if you want a personal reading. Those of you that are gonna stay around, we're going to do this one more time from the top. Buckle up, it's gonna go quick, right? Five of Swords, conflict, betrayal, deception, shady ass behavior. Five of Coins, leaving somebody out in the cold. Knight of Wands, pissed off, passionate messages, breaking up with a Two of Cups relationship. Five of Swords again, second time, same card, different deck, shady behavior, uh, conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal, right? So these cards right here say that you are breaking up with this person. Option, your only option is the Six of Swords, a regretful but necessary transition. You step out on your own with the Fool card, new beginning, new journey, not looking back. There was a lack of teamwork and collaboration in a very, very toxic relationship, an attachment that was a restriction to your personal growth, to your values, to your morals, to everything about you, Cancer. There was a, 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 a an addictive, toxic, restrictive relationship going on here. 
Knight of Swords says that you are taking some serious, you're taking some action. You're taking some action. You are not putting up with this. You're taking some action. Seven of Swords says you are giving it up. Justice card comes in and says, good job, bro. Good job. Nine of Cups comes in. Wishes fulfilled. Comfort, happiness, and satisfaction to the, to the Ten of Cups. Right? Escalation. Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Harmony, happiness, peace in your life, in your relationships. Ace of Swords. Absolute crystal clear mental breakthrough that the all the, the, the undelivered promises all talk and no action of this devil relationship that you're in right here is over. Over. Absolute mental clarity that that shit is never gonna change. Nine of Pentacles says you're stepping out to be a self-sufficient, independent person who is going to write, who is going to be, number one, their own wishes fulfilled, number two, their own Ten of Cups, number three, getting ready to write a whole brand new chapter of their life without this idiot in it. Clarified by the Seven of Swords, breaking free from all of the mental challenges associated with the shady behavior, the betrayal, the deception, the getting away with something, right? Breaking free from all of it. You've heard it all before. Can't help it. Can't stop it. Won't do it again. Bullshit. Princess of Wands comes in and says that you have a renewed zest for life. You have enthusiasm, excitement, and you 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 finally feel like this big black cloud has been lifted off of you and you are feeling good. Three of Wands says you are preparing to expand your life. Four of Swords says now you can rest, recuperate, and have some freaking peace in your life. Prince of Pentacles says you can now begin to plan for your future with crystal clear vision. Princess of Cups brings you a message of a creative new beginning in your life, Cancer. And that's the way she rolls. That's the way she rolls this month. Right on. For the next six weeks, you should see this play out in your life. If this resonates with you, you should see this play out in your life in the next six weeks. Cancer, don't go back to this. Don't go back to this. As sexy, as hot, as comfortable, as financially secure, whatever the situation is, don't go back to that. That's just, nobody deserves that kind of, that kind of, nobody deserves that. Okay, Cancer? All right. There you go. If you need a personal reading, you can hit me up with the link in the box below. Namaste.